says he wants to do to you what you did to Oscar De La Hoya. You sent Oscar De La Hoya into retirement. He did. Keith Thurman says, I want to do that to Manny. He wants that. Like you said, you wanted to fight him because he's 29 and 0. You want to put that defeat on his resume. He wants, I sent Manny Pacquiao into retirement on his resume. That's, Something's got to give. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's um, absolutely, this is going to be a good fight. I mean, um, uh, he wants me to send to retirement, but, um, you know, what I, what I feel right now is um, I can still fight. I mean, this is, like I said, this is the testing of my, of my, of my, of my career. How confident are you you can actually win this fight? Not just entertain, but actually win this fight. I'm very confident for this, for this fight. Um, he, Torman, he's thinking that um, I'm like other fighter, but he don't know, you know, a lot of fighters are underestimating me before the fight. But it's, 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 it's different now. It's different now. It's different. He's 40. This is... Then let's go look at it. Let's go look at it. 61, 7 and 2 with 39 KOs. Huge Manny Pac Man Pacquiao supporter for years and years and years. Even though I think he lost to Floyd and Skip Bayless was on some old bullshit if you haven't seen his interview. We're going to play it for you a little bit of it uh, later on. But I think that Manny lost that fight. And I do think he was legitimately injured, but because of the payday and things like that, he didn't handle it properly. But that is the past, and he still wants Floyd. And frankly, you know, I, I'm really starting to think that Floyd is really, 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 really done. But I would not be surprised. So, he's a better, meaning Keith Thurman, obviously a better opponent than Adrian Broner, Lucas Matisse, Jeff Horn, Jesse Vargas, Timothy Bradley, Chris Algieri, Brandon Rios. He is the toughest opponent that he has fought, in my opinion, since Floyd Mayweather, Juan Manuel Marquez, and I'm going to say Miguel Cotto. And he's fighting him when he's 40. Now, you got to take your hat off to him. You got to take your hat off to him. Also, he was addressing, like we talked about many times before, is the reason why he's able to fight in July and still well, fight and still be a senator is because in June and July they have recess. So as soon as the fight is over, he's got to head back to the Philippines and then he gets to fight again sometime in like December or January. But the way Keith Thurman is talking is, listen, Pacquiao was fighting for the rest. He's fighting for his life in there because he still wants to fight. He still wants to compete and fight at a high level at his age. So he got to take this fight serious as fuck. For real, for real. He kind of slacked off with Broner, he admitted. He slacked off definitely with Jeff Horn. Lucas Matisse was the get back fight, you know, to get it to get, you know, to, to show that he's still marketable. But if you really, really look at it, outside of Floyd Mayweather and him getting knocked out, he hasn't lost since since. You know, depending on how you look at the um, um, second um, um, uh, Marquez fight. This is a very, very, very special fighter, Manny Pacquiao. He's special. I do think that he should send a little bit to make sure he needs some extra energy. He needs Voodoo Mama Priestess Pacquiao up in there. He needs some help. He really needs some help. Here, y'all want to see what I'm talking about? He's going to need all this shit right here. I'm going to post the video. Be right back. We need her ringside, baby. And as you notice, Matisse, they start getting fucked up. See, for those who don't remember, she was at the Timothy Bradley fight and she, oh, he caught, she caught him. She was at the Timothy Bradley fight, the third fight, and she voodooed his legs. And look, that's when she started getting her real powerful spirits. But... 
we need her to get and i like keith thurman but you know keith thurman probably prepared like chris algieri was he probably got like fucking medallions and shit you know keith thurman he probably knows she got them fucking spirits <laughs> let me shut up let me shut up that's probably why they don't never let me in his fights but anyway listen you know pacquiao's got to move okay he's got to move He's got to be careful with the lunging of the left hand because that's going to get him knocked the fuck out. He's got to be really, really careful. I understand he wants to go to war and he wants to go to battle and he wants to be like the warrior Pacquiao, but he do not want to get his chin tested against a very powerful young fighter in his prime. Keith Thurman, despite the layoffs, he ain't nothing to fuck around with. He has a high ring IQ and you do not want to be hit with that shit. Think about it. He's a more powerful. Think about it. Think about all the fighters he's fought. He's a more powerful puncher, more accurate puncher than Adrian Broner. Lucas Matisse, in my opinion, you know, he he's a more accurate puncher than Lucas Matisse. Jeff Horn, Jesse Vargas, Timothy Bradley wasn't known to be a power puncher. Chris Algieri, Brandon Rios, more of a slugger, not very accurate. And then Juan Miguel Marquez, who can time the perfect shot. And he did. This guy can do that. Keith Thurman. I'm scared for Manny. Manny Pacquiao is the underdog. He understands he's the underdog. So what does he got to do? God damn it, he's got to move. I mean, when you look at Manny Pacquiao's punch, you know, um, variety, and when you look at, you know, his 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 makeup in regards to being a uh, pressure fighter with short arms, and you know, he has to rely on getting on the inside. Not very much of a body puncher. So he's going to have to engage to get his shit off. And that's where we're going to find out if Manny Pacquiao was still as fast or you know or or faster than average welterweight at 40 years old we're gonna see though you got to pay attention because coming up they're gonna likely and they're gonna announce soon the pbc face-to-face -face where you know they sit at the table and they talk uh keith thurman versus jose zito lopez was a gym meaning you know a jewel they're gonna have a fight camp which is likely going to be four parts that's like hbo 24 7 I'm going to review on all of those or, or all access. I'm going to review on all of those. They're going to have the countdown show. And I'm sure Pacquiao was probably filming all of that shit right now and filmed a lot of it while he was over here in the States because he had to go directly back to the Philippines to start training. And uh, even if he is on recess, he still has a lot of duties over there. So shit is going to be lit, man. The undercard is going to be uh, Caleb Plant. Um, well, actually, hold up. Let me get you the undercard, the actual undercard. Your Dennis Ugas versus Omar Figueroa, uh, Sergey Lempinets versus John Molina Jr., and then Caleb Plant is going to be headlining the free TV PBC on Fox, all in the same arena. Hmm. I like your Dennis Ugas versus Omar Figueroa Jr. Hopefully Figueroa don't pull out. You know, his pull-out game strong. Sergey Lempinets versus John Molina. You never really know what you're going to get from John Molina Jr. And intriguingly, I like this fight. little bit i'm t street controversy this is t street controversy live of course we're going to be providing full coverage as much as we can shout out to rob over in la who um been covering this shit out of, out of those fights over there we're gonna to try to get you to the fight bro they can't keep us out for long also shout out to fred who covered the fight over in um uh, the press conference over in new york i still got some more of that content to get out this is t street controversy with fightview360.com please subscribe